Good morning, YouTube. Sun's coming up. Got cakes on the griddle. No, I don't have cakes on the griddle. I don't eat cake. I got a gluten issue. Anyway, that's not what this is about. This is about us taking a road trip. We're currently set up at Lathrop State Park. We just did a one-nighter here, and it was kind of an abrupt change of plan. We decided to leave Colorado Springs a day early. I'm so glad we did. But anyway, we're done here. We're getting on the road, and we're headed to Paladero Canyon. It's about a five-hour drive for us down to Amarillo, but we're going we're gonna to tag team it, and we're going to get there as fast as we can. So come along with us as we head to Paladero Canyon State Park. Back in Texas, Paladero Canyon of all places. Look at this, how beautiful is that? Took us a long day of driving to get here, but I'm glad we came early. Because we came early, we, we had, I didn't have reservations. But uh, if, if you, if you have a handicap placard or handicap plates on your one of your vehicles, so if you're, if you're RVing just with the RV, make sure you take your handicap placard with you. Because most Texas state parks have handicap sites available for walk-up. You can't reserve them because they wanna verify that you actually have handicap plates. So there's two of them right here. Two of them in this loop and there's two in another loop. So we have a total of four handicap sites here in Paladero Canyon. We just happen to be at the one closest to the new restroom facility. We have a great big heavy duty awning with an aluminum picnic table that is wheelchair friendly. We have a wheelchair friendly fire pit, which I'm going to put to good use here shortly because there is no burn ban thanks to five inches of rain and more to come on that. Lantern hook. So let's talk about the site itself. It is very level. It is asphalt, but I mean, I, 
I found a good, the best spot, a level spot right here. And I didn't, I didn't have to make any adjustments. We have 50, 30 and 20 amp power and water. There is no sewer. The reason we're in the handicap site is because we did not have reservations and I had one night reservation and that's for tomorrow night. And as we, we were in the same loop, we were on the back side of the, the downhill side of the loop. Now there was, they received almost five inches of rain over the last two days. Uh, there's most of the trails are closed because of the mud and safety concerns. The main park road, and it, it follows the, the canyon wall over there. So that main park road is actually closed because of water over the road. With that being said, the site that we had reserved for tomorrow night is on the downhill side of this loop over there. And there's like three inches of mud, <laughs> red sand mud covering the whole thing. So it worked out good <laughs> that we came early and got into the handicap because we're going to be here in this site for two nights. The only downside to this site for us is that it's right here at the bathroom. But the upside for the disabled person is you've got almost ADA acceptable access to the restroom. Getting from here to that walkway could be a challenge when the ground is wet like it is now. And there's a bit of a, a bump, a significant bump right here. So it'll be kind of, kind of difficult. It needs to be addressed. But it's a big site. I mean, you can see you can fit the a 40 foot rig in here and a toad easy, or 40 foot or bigger. So tomorrow's going to be a full day of filming. I had really seriously contemplated doing an FPV scooter run. Then I developed problems with Little Red, and then I got here. Mike and Christy of the Sunset Seekers cautioned me about the, the park road. That's a 10% grade <laughs> for about three miles, and it's got hairpin curves. Yeah, I, if, when I was a younger man, I, I would say, yeah, buddy, let's get that scooter and go. But now I'm like, yeah, I just do the dash cam. <laughs> so <laughs> since Little Red is having some, some mechanical challenges and, and seeing how this park is laid out, I don't even know if I'm going to pull her out of, the, out of the back of the truck. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Right now, we're going to set up the gas grill and cook up some jalapenos so stay tuned more to come good morning well it's morning anyway i don't know about good <coughs> this is usually dry <laughs> except for when it rains a lot and it rained a lot this morning and there's supposed to be rain there's a chance of rain for the most of today here at Paladero Canyon State Park, October 2nd, 2019. Well, Paladero Canyon, little panhandle can thank Dude RV for coming out here on a trip. Seems like everywhere I go, every time I take a trip, I get rained on. Waiting for a break in the weather so we I can get out and shoot some video so I get out and do what I do. But, as you can see, there has not been a break in the rain. Let's go take a walk. When I was planning out this journey, I wanted to get a good sight. But I want, we were here for one night. That was the original schedule. So I wanted to pull through with, you know, all of my thing. Privacy and good views. What I selected was site 103. And as you can see, there's a... a the, the patio view would be really great, looking at the canyon wall on that side, and then another canyon wall view on this side. And we would not have even have had to drop the truck. 
But things changed, our plans changed, and we left Colorado Springs a day early. And then I decided that we were gonna skip a stop, which was Clayton Lake State Park in New Mexico. But this time of year, you can't reserve a site. So we decided to just head on down to Paladero Canyon. We moved into one of the handicap sites, which are, uh, there's always one available if you ask and you have handicap place. But now, had we been arriving today, we would, would, would have been driving in the rain all day, and we'd have rolled up to this <laughs> here. We'd have had to park way back there because of the flood. It's just, just interesting how things work out. Everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. You just may not understand why it's happening in the moment and this water's ankle deep now, it could be worse <laughs> could be that you're already set up and the torrential rains come and you can't get out of your sight because your 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 driveway is the river paladero canyon in the rain this is the creek that runs for the wash. I don't know if it's a full-time year-round creek or not, but man, it is running today. Look at that. Look at all that dang water. And that's just putting a damper on our party. Well, dang. I wanted to go do some horseback riding. $50 per rider. Uh, you can't weigh more than 250 pounds. That's a one hour ride for 50 bucks. There you go. But they're closed today. Apparently Woodrow is a longhorn somewhere because you can buy a bag of feed for Woodrow. And I presume that is where Woodrow would be found in that pen maybe. I don't know. A rainy day at Paladero Canyon. We made it to the Paladero Canyon Trading Post and they have world famous burgers here. Let's go check it out. <laughs> into the amphitheater here. This is where the famous Texas musical is held every year. We can at least get a look-see at where they hold it. The amphitheater. Paladero Canyon State Park. Oh, the things I do for you. All right, we're at the Mac Dick Group Pavilion. Now it's pouring down rain, but we're gonna walk over here and at least take a look through the window. I had to come over here and see this because the Sunset Seekers had also been over here and I couldn't let them shoot footage of something without me shooting video footage of it there are public restrooms here and there is one heck of a view from the patio if only if only the sun was shining. Paladero Canyon in the rain. Ooh. 
Look at that, man. Sure wish it wasn't pouring down rain. What a place. Here at the El Coronado Lodge Visitor Center. It's a CCC structure that was built in 1934. You can pause that and read it if you're interested. It's like right here on the edge of the cliff. big that was. That's huge. Well because we have absolutely zero service down in the canyon bottom right now at, at, down at Paladero Canyon State Park we came into town so that Yappy could work on the phone and I thought well it's too rainy to do anything in the state park other than sit in the RV so I'm gonna go check out the uh, Panhandle Plains Museum. Oh, Paladero Canyon. Okay, so this is what we can see in the canyon. Okay, so the Paladero Canyon is only about a million years old. So on a sunny day, this is what we could see. Charles Goodnight chose the bottom of the canyon for his for his home because it was sheltered out of the out of the weather. We are I am back from town visiting the museum. We've been I've been driving around the park and it's finally the rain has let up and it looks like the weather's breaking. This is the this is the cow camp cabin area these cabins were built by the ccc but well, we can walk around and check it out just like a big pile of rocks <laughs> i don't know how many of these there are but they are air conditioned so they got a mini split and a window that looks out upon that view so you don't have to have an rv you don't have to sleep in a tent this one is handicap accessible for the most part i mean there's still some challenges with the door the step there so anyway let's go see some more stuff and check it out we had to dodge boulders on our way out i don't know if i caught that on on film or not uh, one side of that two-lane road was closed down because of the big big rock falls so just be advised if you've got a low clearance RV and it's been raining you may not be able to get down the rim of the canyon
Good morning. Well, here we are at the end of our visit to Peladero Canyon State Park. Have a little coffee to get the day started. And as you can see behind me, the views aren't any better this morning than they were yesterday when it was raining. And that's unfortunate. That just means that we'll have to come back to Peladero Canyon State Park when the sun is shining so we can do it video justice. Hey, we're going to head from here down to Caprock Canyon State Park, so stay tuned. There's going to be more to come. Remember to click on the subscribe and the bell. That way you'll never miss another production from Dude RV. I post new videos every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. So come on back, see where we are next time. Well, of course, we're headed to Caprock Canyon. I already told you that. So come on back next week, see what else I've got going on. For those of you who have subscribed, thanks. I, I really do appreciate it. We're almost to 10,000. May already even be there because I've been off grid for several days now. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. The last thing I got to say is, y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>